My name's Aaron Cairo. I'm a professional skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to kickflip for beginners! If you're a beginner skateboarder and you're just starting out skateboarding, this is a very, very, very important video for you to watch. So I've been teaching a lot of people how to skateboard. They come to me and they say, hey Aaron, I really need to know, I need you to tell me right now, how do I kickflip? And here's what I say every time. Show me your ollie. Boop! If the ollie's good, I say, great, show me your front side 180. And I say, oh man, the next trick that you need to learn right now is front side 180. And you might be thinking, why? Why do I have to learn a front side 180? Why is everybody telling me what to do? I got into skateboarding, so nobody would tell me what to do. It's okay. If you want to go from ollie to kickflip, you can. If you want to do it like that, you, you definitely can. I'm not here to make you do anything else that you don't want to do, but I think you will learn how to kickflip faster if you learn some more basic fundamental tricks that will help you control your board better so that then when you get to the kickflip, you can do it. It's funny, I taught Lance how to skateboard and people started, it was a bit of a joke, but they started calling him the skate god. It was sort of a joke, sort of wasn't, because he was progressing very fast. I think in one day he learned, he had skated before in his past, but in the first day he learned ollie, front side 180, back side 180, hop shove, front shove. Then the next day, I believe it was the next day, was heel flip. And then the next day, kick flip. I think kick flip took about two days to land. So the second day was heel flips and some practice on kick flip. And then the second day, boom, kick flip. But if you've been struggling for your kick flips for months, weeks, go back to those earlier tricks. Ollie, front side 180, back side 180, pop shove it, front shove, heel flip, kick flip. If you're going to skip any one of the tricks in that series, skip the heel flip. Go Ollie. Front side 180, back side 180, pop shove, front shove, kick flip. Those five tricks, the ollie, front 180, back 180, pop shove, front shove, are way, way easier than a kick flip. And when you learn them, your confidence will get better, your board control, which is your ability to move this thing with your feet under your feet and land back on it, will greatly, 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 greatly improve. All of those tricks are covered very clearly, very expertly in the video series, Skateboarding Made Simple. There are very exact steps to each trick, as well as the order of the tricks. So you have did all those tricks, your board control is pretty well up. You're ready to learn how to kickflip. Here are the steps, pop, pop, pop. You've learned this step many times in many of the earlier tricks, pretty much all of them. Now, you're gonna stand with your weight on your back foot, and your front foot like that. You're gonna turn your front foot about a 45 degree angle on the grip tape, just like that. This is kind of the part where it gets different than other tricks. So your front foot is at a 45 degree angle and you push your leg out and your toe drags up and off the edge of this skateboard in that direction, just like that. Now once your toe hits this piece right here, when you're pushing your front foot forward like that, your ankle is in this like weird rotation, right? So you push that all the way to the end, and then right here, you go like this. And that's what, in the skateboarding world, we refer to as a flick. Flick! We made this video a long time ago called Flick Defined. So we were making tons of videos. We would ask you guys questions every day. We want to do that again. We want to know what you guys want to learn. It's very, very important to me that you do actually learn to skateboard. So I want to see you guys out there getting better, progressing. It's very important for me. So drag that foot up, flick right there. And when you flick right there, that beautiful little motion with your ankle, your board goes like this. And it spins. You put your back foot down once the rotation has stopped. Catch it, then put your front foot on and land. There are a few practice steps that you can do. The best one that I recommend is kick flip and step off of your back foot, leave your front foot on. Do the spin, leave your front foot on. Spin, front foot on, very important. Because if you get that step really, really good, practice that step and get it so good. One point I wanna make very, 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 very clear because I've gotten literally over 100 videos sent in 
doing the flick incorrectly. It's a very common thing to flick like this. Pop the board, flick down. If your foot is on the ground before your board, you're doing it wrong. You wanna pop and then do that ankle sweep. Wah! Leave your front foot higher than the board, always higher than the board, then put your front foot on. If you get that single step really, 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 really good, the only thing you need to do now is do that step, bend your back knee, put your back foot on, and land. And you're golden. You got it. You nailed it. You did the kickflip, the elusive kickflip, the one that everyone wants to learn. You have now done it. Now you're ready for Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and coming soon, 7. There are a few things that within those little pieces that can go wrong. Uh, if you actually do the steps that I already said, nothing will go wrong, period, nothing. But Lance stopped me and he said, what if your board goes half? If your board goes half, you're not doing that practice step correctly. You can try different foot positions. Usually if your foot position is closer to this side, less over here, closer to this side, you're gonna flip the board faster. But remember, you're stepping off with your back foot on that particular step. Step off with your back foot, make it flip. So you're not falling. You're not doing a flip and landing halfway and falling because your back foot is off. So just that, 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 until you get so good that you can put your back foot on. If you're doing a kickflip and the board is constantly going in front of you, go to that practice step, take your back foot off, and do it again and again and again and again and again until the board stops going in front of you. One thing that I recommend if you're having any of the troubles, to film yourself in slow-mo and watch what your foot is doing. Watch what your foot is doing and compare your foot to what my foot does in this video, and you can see the difference. Then you can go, oh, then change it by just standing still and practicing the, the variation. Change it, then do it again, film yourself again, until your foot is doing the same. Once it's doing the same, obviously your board's gonna be flipping good, so you'll know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hoped if you were going to struggle for months and months and months and months and months on your kickflips, then you realize, oh, I should do these earlier tricks. I hope this helped you. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. You don't have to do every single one of those tricks, but it's a suggestion from me to you because I think it will help you learn how to kickflip faster, kickflip better, and progress in all your future skateboarding better. Thank you guys, each and every single one of you. I wanna know what you're having trouble with, what you need help with. Please leave it in the comments below. The whole purpose of Braille Skateboarding is to teach you guys, you out there on the other side of that screen, how to skateboard. If I am not getting you guys to be better at skateboarding, I'm not doing my job. So maybe I should just stop coming to work, um, but I won't because I'm gonna just keep pushing through and helping you guys learn how to skateboard. But I need to know what you need help with, leave it in the comments below. We'll make a video to help you. We will get there together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Please subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Many more tutorials to come. All of you guys are invited to the Braille House on September 9th, 2017 for Aaron Cairo's surprise birthday party. Get your tickets through the link below. They are limited and they will sell out quickly, so get them while you can. This is one that you do not want to miss.